Okay, this is just going to be a quick tutorial for the average user at home who wants to do some image editing and they don't want to have to pay the high cost of Photoshop. We're going to go to a site called pixelr.com. It has two nice image editing programs that I'm going to show you, and the first is Pixel Express, which allows you to do a quick one click changes to your photographs. And I'll just bring it up here. So first we're going to just go directly to Pixel Express and it allows you to open an image right from your computer or from a URL off the web. Uh, so let me see, you can, first I'll open up a new tab and just Google Red Eye. I'll click on images and here's a good one so I'll copy the URL of that image and I'll say open image from URL I'll just paste it in there and here we are now you have some basic options like cropping and resizing rotating and flipping adjustments like red eye removal teeth whitening and the list goes on. Some nice one-click options. Photo effects like vignette, posterize, scan lines, even a heat map, or you could halftone, water swirls, but I'm going to cancel out of all of those because the one I chose is to do red eye removal. So I'll click back on adjustments click red eye removal tool I can change the tolerance but 50 percent is usually a good bet I'll click apply and just click in the middle of this eye and it's gone I could say done and it will allow me to save it to my computer I could just click on desktop and I could change the name to red eye gone dot jpeg hit enter to save and now I'm done. Now if we go back to pixelr.com we can go to the actual image editor and do some things that are more Photoshop like. And we can create a new image and start painting an image there or open one from the computer or open from a URL. To save time I'm going to go from pictures that are already on the web and I think I will let's Google tattoo there here's a nice tattoo picture Click full size and I'll just copy the location of that and say open from URL put it in and here we go. Now, I will also Google faces. And this looks like a good one. So I'll come back and hit File, Open from URL, and put that in there. So now I have two images to work with. I would like to make this tattoo go on this this girl's face, so I can use the magic wand. First I'll click on here and unlock it. I could just this works on color and it will select a large amount based on whatever color I select. So if I click on the white back here and press the delete key. I remove everything but the tattoo I want. I can now come to edit and say invert selection and edit copy. Now I can click on this picture and say edit paste and now I can close that picture. I don't need it anymore. 
this is a little too big for my liking, so I'm going to edit free transform and shrink it down to a size I like. Rotate it, move it over, and I'll press enter. I can click on layer, add a layer mask. My tattoo disappeared because it is now behind the mask and I simply need to paint and I will change my opacity down to 20% because I want it to look like it's lightly coming in. And I will leave the edges more faded so it looks like a worn down tattoo. Now I can click the saturate or sponge tool. Maybe make my brush a little bit smaller. And I have to make sure I have my picture selected. I will saturate her eyes. Gives them a nice extra little effect there. And maybe even her lips. There, and I like that. So I can just save that file. Or first I'll have to merge it down. Merge visible. Now, you can click file, save, give it a name, call it Tattoo Lady, save to my computer, and I would like the best quality. Save it right there.